within the roster. It doesn't matter who he's playing against. Either way, Ethan already going to start up with a double. And what is their first buy around? And it's only really the SMG's lost so far. Mixwell gets his sixth kill of the game already. Off to a flying start here. And oh, Ethan is still going strong. They can't kill him. He's got three now. He manages to fade back into the site. Still no rotation. The CT's finally going to start making a move back. He spot out tens, but he wins the duel. Now there's actually a chance to rotate this weapon back, but that smoke's missed. It gives Stan some space. It seems like the T side is still questioning which direction they actually go in for now, and I think Den Tens is going to be dead to right. Leaving just Mixwell left in a one versus two. He'll have a 1v1 whichever site he goes to. He's going to face up Stan, who wins the battle. Two kills for him. So at least it was a half given away by Daps. And now here comes the push. Flashes as well. Ethan going to be alone in the actual site. Gets some good damage done. And Terra connects onto automatic. Problem is, they've lost out on quite a few players. Stanislaw and Breezy going to fall. They do, but instead, a late smoke goes down out of Cloud9. And that's going to be their sixth T round already. This is a very strong start. Hoping for more, uh, more yelling at the Daps. Hoping for Senna to actually do a little bit of the same. Cirque, that's a great shot on Akusa. Gonna have two more players to potentially find. Flashbang coming in. Oh. Don't know how he hits that. So, he's another one. He's had one or two good maps. Not anything too ridiculous, but hey, a triple kill already in this round. Only on a one kill. He has been one of the highest rated players throughout the Pro League so far. Well, he may not even be needed in this one. Only going to be Daps left, and Breezy will double his kills. Actually push middle yet again. Look at this. They're not going to expect that. And Ethan push has been at the same time. He's got a lot of damage, even though he did fall. Stands like there to back him up, and Breezy does get Daps in middle. Automatic's going to peek out, and Cirque's going to be protecting his teammate. And Tens is just wondering, well, where did my teammates just go? Not too far into the round, and he's all by himself. Up against the four survival players out of Evil Geniuses. Well, now three. I think 10's getting out of here is going to be fairly difficult and, well, yeah, Zerg's not going to give him a chance. Just... Zerg's already able to take the head clean off of 10's. But imagine it's going to spark the push in towards the B site, though, for the rest of his team. And, well, Tarek's going to be there, and Tarek, well, he wants more kills. He's going to peek back out, get dinged up. He's not able to hit the shots at support. Ethan actually is going to fall in just like that. It's become extremely costly for the CT side. The bomb should be planted, too. Guns being picked up for Cloud9. And now they have a realistic chance to take this round if Mixwell can hit some shots. Yeah, some very cocky plays coming out from the B-site defenders. Maybe getting a little bit over the top, but for now, things are going very well for Cloud9. There's Stan, the only one left to really try and fight this as Breezy's a little bit far behind. He does have a kit, but I'm not sure how he's going to be able to win this round. They do have the money for it, but Mixwell, four kills off the back of the AWP. How do you know I haven't been already? <sighs> I feel like you'd be a little bit more tilted if you if you have, and you still haven't seen it come up yet. Taking a round, they probably should have been able to. I guess taking advantage of the cockiness out of Evil Geniuses. I'm off so that he can't have too much vision. We'll be missing the initial shot. I'm burning all the way down, just six HP remaining. They should know that Ethan's going to be here somewhere. He's always playing the B site, and well, eventually. He chimes in with a kill. It's left on Takusta in a one versus two. Already tagged down, and there's a rotation coming in from Breezy as well. I think he'll have an idea that there's going to be someone in CT spawn, but the chance of him surviving this is low. I'm actually quite surprised he's managed to get this far into the site, and he's just hoping that Ethan peeks him. Breezy holding so far back. There's actually a good chance he gets this kill. It's just where can he plant the bomb? Trying to hide back, and he has got it. He's got the plant. There's nothing that Breezy can do about that. He even goes for the shot, but Breezy's going to win that duel. And massive players. You can see Ethan just playing anti-flash. He's got to be careful because there, there is going to be a flash, but fortunately, he doesn't manage to avoid too much of it. Mixwell also trades, and there's only Suck remaining, but I was going to say, sometimes that's enough. Not this time, however. And while Tarek... He pulled off an impressive one versus three just a day or two ago. But uh, I think this would up it. It's you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go into the last round of the half. Mixwell, well, he's burning. He's on fire. And, well, he's dead. Well, the looks of this, it might just be a bit of a fake. They're going to try and clear out some of these players. Tarek is going to spot 
Both players pushing forward, but hasn't seen anything to do with the bomb, and thus the remaining players on A are not going to be rotating. Ethan also manages to pick off one more, and well, the idea here that this was meant to rotate all of the remaining players has not worked at all. There's still going to be a man sat in the pit. Daps does manage to at least get that kill, but Stan is still here. All he has to do is survive. Just try and hold on for the next few seconds. That's going to be easier said than done as he's executed by tens. However, he has bought time for the rotation to come in. Circ holding with the AWP, dinked up straight away. Molotov even going to hold him back a little bit further. Ethan is actually on for an ace here. Three kills already. One more. And that will definitely open up this round so close to getting the kill onto tens, but now it's left all onto Circ. Tens gets a triple to finish things off. The funny thing is, the way he's performed so far within most tournaments, I'm probably the first person to get to say that, which is quite nice. <laughs> Here we go. It is going to be the push coming in onto this B site, an aggressive start for EG. Odds diminishing it a little bit. I'm going to be going down. Similar scenario. Nice for Ethan to kick things off, but do they expect Tarek to still be in this quarter. Well, it doesn't even matter. Zerg's just come in and killed everyone else. He's left it onto Mixor with just 6 HP and Daps, who at least had a smoke. The problem is there's still two players actually within the site. Tarek's even going to walk it through. I think he wanted to try and get some kills, but instead just gets a bullet in the head. Living and 16. Well, here we go now. The gun run coming in for Cloud9. Stanislaw gets the first frag on Kusta and the second on Automatic. And I don't know how Stanislaw is able to do this, but picking up two kills cracks open the A site. Only Mix was going to be there, and he wants more. He wants more blood. This time he's looking for tens. And I rate that shot a zero out of ten for Stanislaw. Oh, Mix well. He goes down, this site is wide open. Tarek still peeking in that direction, but realistically, it is all onto this man with the AWP. He has been very good so far. There's still a lot of pressure put onto his shoulders. We'll be able to get the last kill and the bomb, but Breezy so quick to get the trade and nobody else being on this site. The remaining two CT players may just have to focus on saving their guns. I'm not going to try and spell it because I don't actually know the real spelling of the word, but... They all look funny here. Well, there's about 15 seconds left and they have a stack. This is pretty much as good as it gets. Bomb's going to hit the floor already. Tens is getting another kill. There's literal seconds for them to try and get these kills and get the bomb down. And Daps is just going to be sitting on the bomb waiting. It is already done. You can see Kusta running away, but it doesn't matter because Daps is going to win the round. And Jason is going to be wrong. That's the only way it's ever going to happen. And now that I've said that, that won't happen either. <laughs> Son of damn it, Tom, <laughs> stop cursing me! Let me win the lottery. He's picking up the pace. Evil Jace is charging straight through into the B side. They've had enough of this game. They want to close this out. Dap, so looking to say something about it as he eventually will fall and they will get control of the site. I like that switch in pace. Leaving it down to, what, 20 seconds in the last round? Then got... Well, they faltered. Let's they, just say they that. They pretty much had the site in 20 seconds in that round, so... Gathered up by the T side. There's actually going to be some aggression out from the CT Automatic, not having the best games. And the spam through is going to make it even worse. Somehow Kusta survived even longer than he did. Now, well, good luck, Mixwell. One versus four, trying to hold on to the A side. So many angles to check, and none of them are going to be the right one. Daps and tens. Well, it's stream time. Eyes really pop. Oh, thank you. Well, we're going to have the push once again. Without the insult. bomb this time. May not even need it. We'll get a kill. Actually, Automatic has finally got back onto the board after a long hiatus. Bomb still sat in spawn. This is a very interesting round coming out of Evil Geniuses. I'm in the XM trying to make its way around the corner. It seems like both Tens and Mixwell have cooled off after the first half and. Breezy just trying to not even allow him a chance. Shot actually, Gosh. he's hit two shots through the wall. I kind of hope he gets the kill on Zerg. They'll make things a little bit more interesting. He's hit him three times with the deagle, and now Zerg's going to kill him as well. That is the classic. Keep things on track. It's the perfect map for us to go to, Jason. We're kicking things off on train. We're going to have ourselves actually quite a push out here. Tens already able to get the opener. Bomb actually dropped in the open. Ethan's going to try and push further onto the site. In the last pistol round, we saw Daps with the triple, but also...
was down with the triple. We'll see who's going to be stepping up this time. Already Tarek has turned it back into a 4v4, although it's more of a, a 3.7 as Daps is so low on HP that he really could be put down at any moment. Yet to retrieve the bomb, but not really any reason to do it just yet. So much time left on the clock, and Tens will spot out a little bit of a peak from Stan. The only real problem is, is all that utility they had early on, or the pieces they had onto Stan and Tarek are already gone, already diminished, and Mixor was coming in on a hot flank in behind Stan. Finally, we're going to get that clock ticking, and the CT side are going to opt to try and overwhelm Stanislaw, just to give them that advantage now going back into things. The problem is, you do have three more terrifying players left to kill off on the evil geniuses. Mixwell will succeed with one. Actually gets the second, and now Ethan has to try and clutch this out, and he's not going to be able to. Both players so ridiculously low. Oh, is he going to get the ninja defuse? Really want one of these scout shots to hit, and she's going to be breezy peeking out, but he actually goes down without too much done. Circles are going to get tagged up, but I think him and Mixwell just traded, and I feel like Ethan's going to have the majority of the heavy lifting to do in this round, especially now that Stan, well, obviously has only a Deagle and Tarek already getting tagged up. He does a lot of damage and actually gives Ethan more of an opportunity here. However, two of the remaining rifle players are yet to take any damage. Yet to really show themselves too much either. Well, speaking of that, Ethan trying to get down the ladder. We'll take a hefty amount of damage though before he does get his feet back on the ground and Stanislaw with a Hell of a shot there out of the Deagle. Ethan had some information of where they were going to be, considering he did get shot up. And that's all in Stanislaw and Ethan push it together. Mixwell in low health. He's going to fall. Now the last man alive. It's going to be tens and a one-on-one -on -one up against Ethan. He knows he has him low on health. But can he hit the shots? He's not going to be able to. Ethan strikes back, gets his fourth kill. I am what Liquid have done recently is being that dominant. Either way, we are into our first Byron, a Mixwell, he's got his AWP in hand, so I'm, I was excited. And unless he times them very well indeed, it's going to be fairly difficult for them to hold on. You can see that stand though, trying to force the attention towards him as the inner hit's going to be coming in. Daps waiting, Daps the first, a little bit shaky on the shots, but eventually he will fall. Tens is going to be here as well. They need to deal with him. And actually, in the meantime, you can see Stanislaw flanking from behind. The problem is Tarek's already got the kill, so maybe the presence isn't needed out of him. And we also see Automatic try to push up on the bomb train. He does take down Tarek. He gets circled by himself. And now Stanislaw has to hurry. And he's going to have to deal with Kusta. I'm watching. The defuse wasn't being stuck. He's actually going back through, and Kusta will get the kill. So Cloud9 do bounce back in the round. Down this one, 15 seconds left to go. They have to make their move. They're trying to come in towards CG spawn. They're running in towards Inner and Breezy is able to take down Daps. Ten's going to be waiting the bomb. Well, now that it is down there, fairly well set up. Ten's gets dinked and Cirque dead as well. So Ethan and Tarek now going to have to defend and they, they don't really have those deeper positions they would have been hoping for. They're going to be cleared up quite simplistically. Oh, that's so oh, risky. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that made me really uncomfortable. Chris Kuz has been punished a little bit more from holding so aggressively towards I Pop, and just as I talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Actually, tried it. Go for it. There, there we go. go. Oh, he just about gets around the corner. Fair amount of damage done. Automatic. Gonna get a freebie kill. Almost gets caught changing weapons, but win the battle versus Tarek as well. They're starting to grind this back a little bit on the CT side, of course. If I'm a pet, is anything to go by? He said all they need is five. But I'm sure they won't be feeling too comfortable if things do slip away from them from this point. One in to connect them, but the rotation has already come in. How up are they go? Lots of damage being done. The T side somewhat struggling to make their way into this site, and that's because there's four defenders. The last man is actually holding off in case they rotate back, and now Kusta's even going to make his play forward. This should just be a slaughter on the B site. Just kind of playing a little bit of a float to help him out if they do come away. They're rushing straight out of team mid. Stanislaw opens things up on Akusta. Not Mac trying to respawn, but unfortunately he will fall to Ethan. And now Cirque with the op. Yep, they want this outside site, and they're going to have it. Oh my god. Now start to get the last couple of rounds. I don't think it'll matter too much when going onto that CT side. They need a hero, and while that round ended so fast, they didn't even get to build any hype. Already not the best start. Tarek is going to find an opening pick. I, I believe that was an aggressive play 
up the ladder. So yeah, <laughs> I think he just found himself a kill in behind them. The push now going to be coming in from automatic out main, but it seems like they're just pulling every direction and the bomb going down in pot. That's pretty much as bad as it gets for the T side. An impossible position to try and get that back from maybe tens. It may be a close scoreline, but seven rounds of the T side of train is, is pretty damn good. Although we definitely saw a bit of life out of Cloud9, which I'm hoping they can build upon. Tens again having a much better day today. It is unfortunate that it comes in one of the matches, which doesn't really help with their fate. Well, it doesn't at all, unfortunately. They have finished last in this group no matter what. And for anybody wondering, that is based off head-to-head. -head. They have lost the, to the two other teams. Obviously, EG already have two wins, so there is no way that they can finish above anybody within this group. But they can at least gain themselves a little bit of pride, try and take the fight to their North American brothers and... Maybe he can try and kill him from above. Both players unable to connect the shots to the moment. Okay. Okay. He tried to play with his food a little bit here. And Ten's already going to be able to get one. The problem is there's only 15 seconds. And Zerk will headshot him anyway. Shut up, Jason. <laughs> Look at go. this. Pushing up aggressively for Zerk. To take out Mixwell. And the other players are going to be over towards Ivy. And maybe Zerk's going to continue to push here. Just gather the information. As we know, are ridiculous. Breezy, gotta be careful. Oh, well, spot tends his face, but only for the second before he rips off his opponents. Actually, it looks like Automatic's tempted to try and push the smoke, maybe taking a leaf out of Stewie's book. Making his way forward, Cooster's actually gonna win his duel, and Automatic does as well. Maybe the pistols will be enough. It's left on to Sirk and Stan. Is Stan gonna check the corner? Nope, so that'll be a free kill. And now Sirk left into a one versus four. This Maybe some extra money in his pocket. Or not, Arcus is just gonna kill him. So Kusa stays alive, gets himself two kills. Do better than most. Flashbang gonna leave Tens blind. He will be able to get past. He's still someone that they have to worry about, but as you mentioned, there's no utility left. There's no kit. This is all just going to come down to raw individual battle. Stan is going to kick things off, but automatic holds. However, it's left all onto Mixwell. The Spaniard in North America trying to keep them in the lead in this round, but the Molotov holding him back, and that 10-second defusal continuing to happen. Don't even think he realized he had more of a chance to try and deny that, but ultimately saving the AWP is probably the better decision. Can we send that, send that to production to get that on air? That'd be cool. So at least one person has sent in a uh, nice little Photoshop of Daps' beard on everyone. Appreciate it. Yeah, so Aquatic Astronaut. We'll see if that's going to be the winner. It's a pretty cool name as well. Easy trying to challenge out towards Ivy, and Ten's going to win that trade. Again, Ten's been able to hit a really good amount of entries. Sasslock coming in, not expected though, and it does eliminate his counterpart on Daps. And the bomb's actually rotated back away from the outside. You can see Mixwell trying to carry this back towards inner, though. You have Tarek already pushed up. Might actually catch him on the cross in T-spawn. And he's going to spot him out, but it doesn't seem to have mattered because Mixwell hits the shot and leaves Cirque by himself. Yes, Cloud9 sides. So they can't really look to overface. Not realistically, just going to keep this into the next round. It's like, that might be the plan. It's going to be a fake thrown in from Kusta, but he does manage to get the opening. In fact, he gets a second. And while the bomb is going to be planted on the B side, there's nothing that Stan can do to stop it. Ethan will find one. Stan has got another back, though. And somehow this round just swings back into the favor of EG. It's left. The tens and Mixwell. Trying to hold on to this round. Tens goes down, but Mixwell's still fighting. Hovering above the flames as his opponents get ever closer. Just trying to hide within the site. Burn down that clock a little bit more. They don't have a kit available to them, but Stan comes up from above and jumps on the bomb. To just one round. The CT side starting to rise back up, but their money's still not great. Breezy only getting one kill. May not be enough. Tens actually going to go running through the flames, but he's got to be careful because Stan's just waiting around the corner. Holes within the defense. The question is, is he going to be able to get the kill? No, Stan still gets the drop on him. Just rotating into different positions and causing trouble. Mixwell now. 
Oh, it's a similar scenario. Oh. Gonna try and sneak up. Did Cirque really just make that peek? That is just dirty. And while all alone, Kusta, one versus four, and there's nothing he can do. And even Breezy's flanked in from Ivy, so they know the direction they're going. They're gonna start to rotate back in towards the inner site. Flashbang's being thrown in. Cirque needs to hit these shots, and he will get the first. Yeah, this is already looking fairly rough in terms of actually winning the round, but once again, the money is going to be made by Cloud9. They'll give themselves a big boost to their economy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here we go. Rushing straight out. Automatic trying to lead the charge to get Cloud9 around back on the board. Cirque, though, looking to say something about it. Terry does push through, but pushes to his death. Luckily, Ethan's going to be there to return. Stanislaw not going to be expected out of Kusta, and that's going to be now a three on two in favor of Evil Genius, just putting them onto map and match point. And Cirque actually might catch out. Daps, and what a flick out of him. That was insanely quick. And Mixwell well again. I feel like we said this so many times so far in this match. Alone, with everything to do. Luckily, he has the bomb, but he still has three players to find. left for him to play with. Chances seem slim, especially with Ethan up above. Like It's going to make things so difficult. You can just tweet it to me. You don't have to DM me it, you know? I don't know. I'm enjoying all these DMs. Either way, it is going to be that attempt to try and fight this back. You should be happy those are the only picks you're getting in your DMs right now. Yeah, please don't send me any, anything else. Thank you very much. Unless it involves photos. Here we go. CT side once again have kicked this off with a bang. It's left on to Mixwell and Tens. Mixwell should be able to sneak around the back. And I will at least give them a chance. Even retrieving an SG into his hands and somewhat isolating the CT side from the site. These are the two players, at least within this series, that you've wanted to have in these clutch situations. Molotov actually going to be extinguished and it's left all onto Mixwell. He manages that opening pick. He needs to get the quad kill to close this and he's just one kill away. Tarek going to be going for the defusal, but I think, is, is he even going to stop him? He's going to go for the knife, but doesn't quite get there. Tarek is going to be there to close out the round, being a little bit sneaky with the defusal. And that is going to be EG taking the victory two to zero.